Hey YouTube frogs, brief explanation on how I conduct account reviews on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash xlice. On my Twitch channel, there's a channel point redemption reward available on certain days. For 20,000 channel points, I'll review your Genshin account. This takes around one to two weeks of watching or lurking the stream. On these certain days, I will only do three, and the redemption is on a first come, first serve basis. As such, I don't review a large amount of accounts. I focus on quality over quantity. Those that are interested but can catch the stream that often, I highly recommend watching existing ones already on the YouTube channel. A lot of my viewers learn from existing reviews and end up saving their points. How they work. With your consent, I will log on to your account if you are a PC or mobile player, and I will interactively review your account on stream. If you are a PlayStation player, then you send me an image compilation of everything and I don't log into your account. I analyze your characters, weapons, artifacts, and I see what I can change to help you progress in the Spiral Abyss, or to help your units output more damage or building compositions if Spiral Abyss is not your priority. Depending on where you're at in the game, I'll do my best to rework your account to get the maximum potential out of what you have by rerolling artifacts, changing team comps, and more. Reworking happens only with your consent. Lastly, I will never reach out to you first regarding these account reviews. Please be cautious. And that's it! Hope you YouTube frogs enjoy this video! Hey, opening my can. Do you use MC main DPS? Yes, check her talents and Zong leaves. Oh, okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? YouTube frogs. Hello and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. This time, we are on a special account review. This person has graciously allowed me to showcase their account on top of having a review. All right. You can see that in the, in the bottom of the screen is a review for opening my can on the Twitch side of things. What you see here is a level 90 main character. I want to see what this can do. Why, you say? Because of this. This is dedication. Double crowned MC. Skill attributes, 527% every 8 seconds and 315% at a 60 energy cost with auto attacks as well. And he also likes shit. Damn. Not only is the Geo MC double crowned, but the Zongli is also double crowned. True dedication to the Geo comp. Let's see what we can do. He is just missing three stars on floor 12. This likely means that heavy struggle on the second half of the Abyss because the Oceanid mini bosses are fairly annoying. So what I'm understanding is that this person is F2P and a mobile player. So who thought was the other main DPS? Probably with Ching Chiu. A very well built Ching Chiu. But wait. Uh, minus energy recharge. We might need to rework this uh, energy recharge a little bit. So if you're doing that, then you're definitely using down on the team, uh, which she is decently well invested. Lower recharge than I would expect. And Bennett is level 60 out of 70 with good recharge, good crit rate. And yes, to confirm, so not only is he F2P, but he's also mobile. So we saw the characters. Let's see the weapons. No battle pass at all, but you have two Skyward Harps. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six five-star characters. You've been playing since the beginning, I believe, in order to get this. So this is fairly fine for expected five stars. Very nice then. The number of artifacts that you have decently farmed is, okay, mostly no blessed gear. I see no, but that's a lot of crimson gear, but that's because you had Klee and you had Hu Tao. So this makes sense. Okay, cool. We know that floor 12, 12, 3, 1 is the most difficult, right? 12, 3, 2 is where we would be saving more of the time. So if we were to allocate, right, for the Abyss Heralds on the Electro side, we would give two minutes for this in order to three star, and we give one minute for the second half. Now, what was your initial team that you tried to do for this? 12, 3, first half was the Hu Tao, Xiangli, Xing Chou, Dion, and then the Geo team on second. Okay, so that's what I would expect then. With the new Abyss, not only is it more difficult, but as an F2P player, you have even less time than a PC player would have, which means you need better artifact quality too. And also, because because of mobile, your play style may be less optimized than PC. Well, uh, if I were to recommend, I think this team is suitable and I think this is perfect for reactions against 12-3, right? So against the Abyss Heralds who have Electro Shields on, we wanna maximize the amount of Overload Electro Charge Superconduct that we can do, which is perfect for this comp, right? We have Double Pyro here, constantly proccing. Shelling is amazing against destroying the shields. Shinsho does Electro Charge, is also very important for Hutal's main DPS and Dionys is Shielded plus Healer. So this is perfect. No, no changes from me. Um, I don't know how how well your investments are, but do you want to consider running a potential melt comp here? I think this would be better synergistically, and Kaya is actually pretty good because he has a swirling cryo, right? That being said, though, if we want to focus on three star individually, we need to do a swap first. In order to first focus on 12 to 3 star, I think your Hu Ta with Xin Chiao, Diana plus another cryo would be beneficial, right? I think that'd be perfect to three star this. So either Kea or Chang in here because Diana's already fine. And then you can just put your Geo team. And then once you want a three-star 12-3, uh, you switch them back. I think that would be the play. 
So let's take a look at characters then. Besides GOMC, who is Festing Desire, Ching Chill with Prototype Ranker. I think we are going to need to level up another Favonia Sword. I think this is crucial, right? Yeah, because you need a lot more recharge on him. So I think that's the first thing I would swap over. Let's take a look at your supports, because I think GOMC damage-wise is fine. And then you have Favonia Slant on Zongli, which is perfectly fine as well. And then Dragon's Bane with Qingqiu, and then Xiangling has Crescent Pike. I don't think you're doing physical Xiangling, so we're definitely switching this to prototype Star Glitter for now. This is good. And then Bennett is Favonia Sword. Okay, so these, these are mostly good. Because I would switch K over to Skyrider Sword. I think we just need more recharge, right? You just want to be able to get your ults back as much as possible. Uh, let's take a look at your Qingqiu and Bennett gears. Can we do anything here? Because your your recharge is basically non-existent. You do how many art heart of depth do you have? I see why you're not running ER on the timepiece. That is a godly amount of stats that I cannot give up. Okay, so can we maximize the amount of recharge from other pieces then? Man, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure this out. Let me first switch this over just so I can see. So let's pretend you have this on. Oh, 164 recharge little bit off here any crit rate piece all right so you only have these crit rate pieces what does your hydro piece look like da -da. 1285 flat hp okay we're gonna try this one out <laughs> recharge you know, that awkward moment when I don't even want to switch because I can't afford to lose 9% recharge. Energy recharge is becoming the most valuable stat because this has so much, right? Is it worth it to switch your mask to something that actually has recharge and then drop two Noblesse? This is perfect for Diona. Ooh, I mean like, you know, in some cases, if I took away your two Noblesse set, but I gave you 22% recharge. If you don't have your ulti, you're not doing damage. So this is a very tricky situation, right? Like it's up to your type of play style. I think it's personally worth to drop the two Noblesse set so that you can gain recharge. And you cannot lose this piece. This is a piece that you cannot drop because it's so stat heavy. This piece, let's see, what else do we have? Wait a second, this is, this is quite pog for him. Uh, anything else doable here? Not quite. Okay, we're gonna switch this over right now. Man, you got you have some really good pieces, man. I think this is better. I think I think this might be necessary. Drop the noblesse for 190 recharge. That looks better. Also, we could use an offset piece here. Is there any super godly piece? How does your Shaolin look right now? How much recharge? 199. Would you be okay if I use this here? Uptime on your Shinsha might help you with timing a lot. I'm fine with anything, need those 60 primos. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this for now, okay? I'm gonna change him into a two off piece, two heart of depth. But with this, with a Favonia store at high level, he is at 200% recharge with 5595. I think this is much better. I'd much rather prefer high energy recharge than caring about his damage. Cause his damage is already super high. I think this is better. I think we need to focus on Xiangling. So with prototype Star Glitter, and let's see if we can get her to four Noblesse. We just switched these pieces around. Uh, energy recharge, 26% defense. <laughs> I mean, if I'm being really honest, man, this is on set, no? Is this, this is the perfect swap. So if I did this pyro damage piece, it's on set. And then we can, wait, why is she using HP percent here? Okay, I don't think you're using Sucrose right now. So we're gonna go ahead and take this really quick. You have any other, oh, this is your only pyro damage though. I don't wanna take this from Klee because I feel like Klee is still really useful. Okay, so with this, we're at 5100, 186. This is better. You're five noblesse now, which means we can use an offset piece. Do you have any better energy recharge pieces? Not quite. Okay, so this is the only one. We don't have enough pieces then. Uh, feather looks, uh, flower looks good. Feather looks good. Uh, can't swap. Potentially can swap. And then crit rate mask. And then I think Diona was lacking. Oh, you just have random pieces on her. You don't even have four no bless on her. Okay. Actually, how good are your pieces currently? Really good. No recharge. Pretty damn good. Pretty good. Perfect. Crit rate, energy recharge. Crit rate, energy recharge. Crit rate, energy. Nope, nothing. I might as well try this one, right? Sag. 
All right, what other piece has potential? Starting with high energy recharge and we need crit rate. This one. You might still use that. This one you're not using. Sag. You know, I actually think that you already have very high crit rate. You still have a couple pieces, but I want to keep that one in case. This one's on set. I think you might use this regardless of how it rolls because we can convert her to four no bless as well. No, the wrong stat. Boom. Okay, good recharge. One more hit on recharge would be good. We want to get her to a higher recharge so that it's easier to circulate her at Q. Well, I guess your Diana is going to do damage a little bit. I'm going to leave this as is. <laughs> Alice. Okay, she's 183% now. Okay, do you have any HP percentage noblesse pieces? Okay, so is it possible for you to get four noblesse? Probably not. If it's not possible for you to get noblesse, then it doesn't really matter what you have on her. These two pieces need more recharge. You're not using fish oil right now. That's an insane piece. I'm inclined to switch this over to give her a little bit more recharge. And then this piece. Okay, let's see. Anything with recharge on it? <laughs> okay. Wait, okay. I think we're much better, no? 22k HP, but we're at 200% recharge now with HP, HP crit rate. I think this is solid. And somehow your Diona has 117 crit damage. All right, well, I think uh, these stats are fairly, very solid. Uh, higher recharge means for more circulation. I think she should be good, yeah? I don't think your Hu Tao needs a swap in gear. Uh, I think her crit rate could be higher, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, wow, 28 crit rate using Dragon's Bane. So this is, that is the piece that you definitely need. 28 crit damage, sorry. Uh, and then this is... Um, I'm pretty sure this is better. Where is it? This makes her more consistent. I think that's much better. That's fine. You're running Elemental Mastery with Hu Tao. I mean, with uh, Xing Qiu, so that's... This is uh, perfect. Uh, this is a one, one, two, one. Uh, so all one actually is fine. That's a pretty damn good piece. This one could be improved. Wait, why does Hu Tao have your weaker pieces? Um, I, I would value 10 crit, especially for your current build, yeah? So now you're at 25K HP, but you have, this is literally one to two. Your recharge is suffering a little bit, but you have Xiangling on the party, so I don't think you should have a problem with that. I think this is much better. And you don't have higher HP because you have higher elemental mastery. I think this is perfectly solid. This is this is definitely much more consistent and stronger. You should definitely go with this. Because I think Klee, Klee's not doing the main DPS, uh, the major amount of DPS, right? It's it's MC and Zonli swapping a lot. I think we just need to swap some artifacts around. Oh, we need to work on Bennett. Hold on. Can we switch him to pure noblesse? It'll be really important if we can switch him to pure noblesse. Might switch this. They're virtually the same, but you might value the crit rate more. Uh, I'm gonna take Lisa's piece here. Then anything here. This is on Noel. You're not using her. Okay, yeah. So I think we should definitely use this piece then. Um, pyro damage bonus. I think he already has one. Or noblesse. His recharge is non existent without that piece though. Uh-oh, I think that we need... This is not even going to be enough. Dropping the damage and more focusing on recharge. I'm going to switch this to the level 1 one first. I'm going to drop his energy recharge because Bennett is lacking so much. Okay, I think this is doable. It's better than before, but it's still like 20 to 40% lower than I would like. I think you should level up this Favonius sword because Favonius is just, Favonius weapons are just too strong, especially in floor 12, yeah? I think we needed one more character on the second half. I think we're gonna go Chong Yun. The reason is because he has Favonius great sword. Okay, any crit rate mass that he can use right now? Uh, I don't think we're using Lee currently. We're not using Fischl for sure. So I'm just gonna take some random pieces. Do you have any cryo damage bonus leveled? Uh, you don't. So we're just gonna let him have whatever then. Anything that's usable. Two Noblesse, two Gladiator. Seems fine. Okay. I mean, it's it's usable for now. I think he'll at least survive. All right, boys. So we're gonna actually be using uh, level 90 double crowned MC. Oh, it, oh yeah. I, don't, I forget. You don't have Sacrificial. It's gonna take you a little bit longer, but we need to get through it. I need a target. Okay, there we go. Okay, 
Ooh, that's pretty good. If you didn't have the recharge, we wouldn't have been able to get Shincho's ult there. That was a lot of energy. Pretty good. Even against the, the half that you're weak against, right? I think I should just kill. Because we have free overloads, right? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I would say that uh, Shincho's ult uptime is super important. And definitely the Favonius and the high recharge benefits from that. So against the against the half that we're not even good at, we're still able to clear in under two minutes. I don't... I Chad, I have no idea how to play this comp. <laughs> how do I use GOMC? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Am I doing damage, boys? I think so. Okay. Get me through! What the? Okay, kind of pog, no cap. <laughs> Listen, chat. I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> Okay, watch this. 21k! Ulti, ulti, ulti? Wait. Wait, this slaps. Okay, we might need a little bit of... Uh... I don't even... Uh, okay. I have no idea if I'm even remotely doing this properly. But I feel like it's just scuff. That's okay. This is not bad. Respect, man. Your Geo MC hits hard. And that was against uh, Geo Vishaps, who have Geo Res. All right, keep in mind that our focus was not to three star that, right? We're, we're focusing on trying to see if we can three star 12 2. Rage. <laughs> Okay, I canceled Hutal early, but it should be fine. Woo! Okay, not bad. Oh my god, it's Oldie's back. Okay, we're slapping them. Next set, next set. Okay, lots of healing there. Making sure we have we have all our ultis. Hey, we're good to go. Okay, so this is where things get a little dicey. Hopefully, we can clear this in a decent amount of time. I'm not sure how to lead with this, but we'll try our best. Okay, here we go. Shit. Next phase. Tendy 
おとなしく捕まれいや天道万象ドンクリアいざ Okay, okay, it is, it's, it's doable. So, you totally have enough time to do it. The shield's down now, and we have time. Okay, I'm gonna just make sure I get all my energy for this, and we'll see how it goes on the second half. By the way, Chad, I think our time was pretty good. Because we need two minutes here. Jesus Christ, dude, those things. I don't have. Eh, don't die. Man, ima I can't imagine doing this on mobile, no caps. <laughs> Seems like fucking hell. Okay, give me a little bit of time. Let's proc, let's proc both of them. Okay, that one's proc. Okay, that one's proc. We have a little bit of time here. Okay. <laughs> Get me out of here! What the fuck? Oh my god, stop! Stop it! Bro, dude! Wait, we're almost there. All right, just ham it. Fuck, fuck it. Oh, okay. That was two minutes. That's painful on mobile. Have fun. But I, I honestly like, like if you can borrow like a friend's computer or something, uh, then you could do. I don't know, man. Oh wait, they're over here. <laughs> Wait, where is he? What the? Oh, you're up there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, you are close, man. I think it might be a little difficult for you to three-star. I think if you leveled up some of your artifacts, right? I think you'd be there. I know I can't finish it, boys, because uh, this is already in two-star range. Also, your Chang'an is like negative damage because artifacts kick. Your Chang'an could do like 10 times more damage, not even capping. Uh, can is that a good demonstration though? You can definitely three star 12 2 for sure. Uh, two starring 12 3 is doable. Three starring 12 3, you need a PC. Here's the alternative you can run your Geo Comp in the first half. Bet it could carry you on that on that stage just, just by existing. Adding Sucrose instead of Chang Yun on the second half would make your 12 3 second half faster. I actually think you should do that. And you have Favonius Codex as well. I think you should do that. I think it's swap, swap Chong Yun for Sucrose when you reach um, the 12 3 second half, right? Because your Geo characters are the ones that are doing damage. Ben is just buffing. And to group them up for CC is much better for Zhongli Q. I want to use this weapon, but you're not using any archers right now or any bow users right now. This is perfect. Good, good. Uh, good. Uh, good if you use. Need to level up this. Good. Good, good. And then K if you use him. This is good. I think that's it, bud. Any any other specific questions you have for me opening my can? Should I swap MC's goblet with Fischl's? I guess any other improvements for the Geo Duo? What's your goblet currently? Ooh.
yes. 31.1% critical damage. Not only that, but it opens up two Bloodstain to Gladiator, which is slightly less damage than four Gladiator, but you gain 31.1% crit damage. Dude, your artifacts are insane. <laughs> For the Geo Duo, any other artifact swap? This is really good. Uh, that's perfect. Um, this is could improve. Getting a better mask would be the only thing. But I don't even think it's worth the farm, right? I think it's more important for you to farm more noblesse pieces for your offensive supports. You saw the amount of pieces that I had to go copium, right? And your Xingqiu is not even too noblesse. These are all slight improvements that could make your team stronger. So I think noblesse for sure. Yeah, it basically, uh, the question that you ask yourself when you're swapping this, right? So, like, when you swap these things, I'm losing four Gladiator, but I'm gaining 25% physical, and I'm gaining 31.1% crit damage, right? So, the swap loses 10% on one column, but gains 31% on another column. The reason why I cannot swap from this is because the amount of stats that I lose from this is too much. I lose 44 Elemental Mastery. 13.2% crit rate is equivalent to 26.4 crit damage, right? So I'm losing 40% in stat on this piece, plus additional elemental mastery. If I do an ER piece with like half the stats, it's not even worth it. Which is why I wanted to sacrifice your other artifacts for energy recharge. Because if he doesn't have enough recharge, you can't get his Q back. It'd be better if you had two Geo pieces, but these, these stats are, I mean, all, all fine. Not, nothing wrong with this. Like we could try to switch for Geo Cup, 31% crit is better than 30% geo. Uh, not necessarily. If you want, if you want to reinvest into this geo piece, um, you can go for it. I will give you this option, right? Like, if you want to switch this geo piece because you're spamming uh, Q QE anyway, um, you can go ahead and do that. Well, okay, I I'm gonna tell you straight up, it is better. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that switching to this piece, if you max it out, is better for the current type of build that you're doing. That should be all then. Thanks. All right. So chat, I think that wraps up this account review then. Doable 35 star on mobile. Three star 12-3. Gonna be a little hard. I might need to borrow PC for that one. Quick shout out to opening my can. Thank you very much for letting me in your account and for us showcasing a double crowned MC with what we switched to two gladiator finale, two bloodstains set. Running festering desire and with these stats. Much respect. Along with double crowned John Lee as well with a two petra, two no blessed set. Running a crit damage mask, geo cup, and HP percent timepiece with a 41160. Hope the YouTube frogs enjoyed this account review. This was the first account review for the new 1.5 Abyss, where it's mainly demonstrating how I would approach building comps for 12 3 in the first half. We didn't really get to showcase 11 3 here, but Cryo is king on that floor. And also, how Geo works against 12-2 and the Water Zoo. We swapped a little bit of Hu Tao, made her almost a perfect one to two ratio here. The Xingqiu has much higher recharge, just need to level up this Favonius sword. Dauna has much higher recharge now. And Xiaoling also has a good spread of stats. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate the support. And uh, Twitch chat, thank you guys for being Blanky's frogs during the account review. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.